Another two types of activation of sodium hydrochloride, which is mechanical activation and manual activation. Manual activation by Gerber Cocoon, which called in DA, manual dynamic agitation is activation of arrogant by up and down movement of Garaburo cocoons up to the working length. It's a very simple technique, but not comparable to the previous techniques in terms of effectiveness. Mechanical activation, activation of arrogant using different types of files mounted on a micro motor. Now, let's see a video for Prof. Alfred Yondolo. It's easy and effective technique to perform 3D cleaning by intracanal heating of sodium hypochlorite at 180 degree for 6 to 8 seconds plus ultrasonic and sonic activation of sodium hypochlorite. Advantages of this technique lower surface tension of sodium hypochlorite, lower viscosity of sodium hypochlorite, increased solubility of sodium hypochlorite, deep cleaning more powerful pulp dissolution, less debris, cleaning of lateral anatomies, deep retration inside the tunnel tube used because the higher solubility of sodium hypochlorite, conservative shaping to save more dignity. Now, I will talk about my irrigation protocol during endodontic treatment from the beginning till the end, immediately before obturation. First step, no rubber dam, no endo placing rubber dam before touching the tooth. Second step, opening the axis, either carriage driving axis or minimally invasive axis, no ninja axis. Third is cleaning ethmases between canals and searching for extra canals. After opening axis, I didn't ever enter the canal by 10k file in the beginning. I used Fanta Orifice Shaber, then two complete syringe before using of 10k file to dissolve most of pulp tissues inside the canal to avoid that mistake which you will see now of brushing pulp tissues outside the canal in the periodontium. For example, I will prepare a canal to 35.04. As I said, I started instrumentation by orifice shaper, then irrigation, two complete series of irrigation to dissolve most of the bulb tissue, then tinky file for patency, for glide bars, for measuring the working lens, 1902, which is safe path file, then irrigation, Tell the apex for sure, then 10 key file for patency, then irrigation, then 2004, which is yellow in color, then irrigation, then 2504, which is red, then irrigation, then 10 key file for patency, then irrigation, 2506, which is double red, then irrigation, then 10 key file for patency, then irrigation, then 3504, which is green, then irrigation. As you see, I use irrigation between each file, which is so important. Final irrigation, I irrigate the canal by sodium hypochlorite. Then, intracanal heating at 180 degrees for 6 to 8 seconds. Then, ultrasonic activation of intracanal heated sodium hypochlorite. Then, refreshing sodium hypochlorite. Then, saline to remove any sodium hypochlorite inside. Then, ELITA 17 person. What is the use of ELITA at this moment? If there is any smear layer on the canal dentine, 
The editor will remove all the smear layer of the detainer wall of the canal. If there is any debris, it will be removed by editor solution. It means that if we irrigate the canal by sodium hypochlorite and with intercanal heating of sodium hypochlorite, the sodium hypochlorite with the increase in solubility will enter inside the dentinal tubules, which is perfect, especially in cases of preapical pathosis. As you see in the slide, saline, then edita, 17% then saline to remove any edita inside the canal, then sodium hypochlorite and enter canal heating at 180 degrees for 6 to 8 seconds of sodium hypochlorite, then ultrasonic activation of enter canal heated sodium hypochlorite, then refreshing sodium hypochlorite, then saline, then edita. You can repeat that for 4 or 5 times during the final irrigation myself, I repeat it for two or three, sometimes four times. At the end, you will have these awesome and amazing clean the dentinal deep use by intracanal heating of sodium hypochlorite and activation of intracanal heated sodium hypochlorite. The fourth category of 3D thinking is 3D obturation. I will tell quickly about that point. In endodontology, we have a lot of techniques to fill the space you already instrumented and cleaned during instrumentation and irrigation of the canal. The obturation must reach every millimeter inside the canal and must fill all complexity within the canal. A lot of techniques for obturation like one cone technique Cold lateral compaction, thermal flow, continuous wave of compaction, or warm vertical compaction. In this slide, you can see a comparison between one cone technique, cold lateral compaction, warm vertical compaction, and thermal flow. Vertical compaction of warm garaburka or continuous wave of compaction achieves a better quality filling in oval canals than either match a single cone, the cold lateral compaction or thermophil techniques as you see. Last point in our lecture today or last category for 3D thinking is final restoration. The coronal seal is so important as much as apical seal. The coronal restoration is your last line of defense against a lot of types of bacteria. I will not talk about factors affecting final restoration or objectives or final restoration, but I will just answer that question, which is, if the final restoration is important for the success of an endodontic treatment, yes, as you see in this slide, if the quality of endodontic treatment is good and quality of coronal restoration is good, the percentage success in case of absence of apical pathology will be 91%. And in case if quality of the endodontic treatment is good and quality of coronal restriction is poor, the success rate will be 45%. In case of quality of endodontic treatment is poor and quality of coronal restriction is good, the success rate will be 60 7%. I think you can understand from that slide that coronal seal is more important than apical seal. But believe me, but believe me, the apical seal is so important. The coronal seal is so important. You have to perform an excellent endodontic treatment with excellent apical seal and excellent final restoration with excellent coronal seal to gain more than 90% of success in endodontic treatment. At the end, the root canal is not just a path in one way. It's so complex, full of pulp complexity, smear layer, dentine debris, and bacterial biofilm. Intercanal heating of sodium hypochlorite at 180 degree in the final irrigation for six to eight seconds plus activation is really, really effective technique for a successful endodontic treat. Thank you all so much for your time and for your patience. If you have any further questions, you can contact me on Facebook, my WhatsApp number or my email. Thank you.